humans have been fascinated with lightning for as long as we've existed. From mythological tales of the Greek god Zeus to the Vajra thunderbolt of god Indra, right up to Harry Potter's lightning-shaped scar and Percy Jackson, the lightning thief. Lightning and thunder have always had a hold on our imagination. One of the first things you notice about lightning and thunder is that you see the lightning before you hear the thunder. Ancient people couldn't explain this, but we now know it's because light travels faster than sound. Today we're going to demystify this beautiful phenomenon for you. Lightning is based on the concept of electrostatic discharge. What's that? Well, have you ever felt a tiny zap when you touch a metal door knob after scuffing your feet on a rug? That's electrostatic discharge. Millions of electrons suddenly zapping through your body via the knob into the ground. A similar zapping happens in lightning when charged particles rapidly travel between two electrically charged regions in the atmosphere. Lightning is an electric current. And to make this electric current, you first need a cloud. During a thunderstorm, winds inside the cloud are very turbulent. Water droplets from the bottom part of the cloud are carried upwards where the temperatures are freezing, turning the droplets into ice. Strong downward drafts then push the ice back to the bottom, stripping their electrons off violently in the process. The result is a cloud with a negatively charged bottom and a positively charged top. These electrical fields become incredibly strong with the atmosphere acting as an insulator between the two. Lightning discharges can release up to a billion joules of energy. When the strength of the charge overpowers the insulating properties of the atmosphere, zap! A bright flash and you get lightning. So now you know the science behind lightning. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.